This is the story of Firaz. His parents never miss a chance to film him while he's playing. They cherish those happy moments because Firaz has also spent much of his life in a hospital bed. He was born with two holes in his heart, a condition that can be fixed by routine surgery. But Firaz was also born in Gaza. Firaz is the first and only child of Amal and Assad, and their lives have been dedicated to his care. We just got married. We are a new couple, but we spend our time bringing medicine back and forth from the pharmacy. It's awful, but that's the way it is. This hospital is only partially equipped, and Firaz needs to go to Israel for his operation. His parents say the request was turned down six times as the case was never considered an emergency. But Firaz's condition is deteriorating quickly, and now it's urgent. He needs to be sent to Israel now, as soon as possible. I mean, if you can't take him today, it'll be better. The doctors here have a direct line to their Israeli counterparts, who understand the urgency and accept the request. For Firaz's father, it's a race against time. He knows that even with an appointment in Israel, the real challenge is getting out of Gaza. The Israelis will never allow you to cross unless you have a photo on the birth certificate. It's a new obstacle, but there's no time for protest. These are the rules of the system. Assad comes up with a solution. He picks up a poster of Firaz from home. He can turn it into passport photos for this new bit of red tape. At last, Assad gets the permission he needs for Firaz to leave Gaza. I can't believe that things went so smoothly that we finished. Firaz's mother, Amal, packs for the trip. Only one parent is allowed to travel with Firaz. It's another rule of the system. I feel so afraid because I'm going to a place that I don't know. But I feel so strong because I'll be standing next to Faraz. Now that everybody got their job done, the only thing left to do is cross the Israeli checkpoint. Easily and hopefully quickly. But as Firaz's mother is getting ready to pick up her son for the drive to the border, she is told to go immediately to the hospital. The drive to the Israeli hospital only takes an hour, but after three hours of obstacles and delays, the journey never began. Firaz Maslum was not even two years old. In Arabic, his name Maslum means injustice. He leaves behind loved ones who hope his injustice won't go in vain, as more than a thousand patients here in Gaza are waiting and struggling for one of the most basic rights. Casey Kaufman, Al Jazeera, Gaza.